Greetings one and all, and welcome to the Open-Handed Classroom. I want to extend a special thank you to you, yes you, for stopping by. Now students, before us is a math question. And I got this math question from the 2018 Paper 1 Mathematics BJC examination. Notice that currently this question is unsolved. But I, but I assure you, I assure you that by the end of this video, this question would be completed. But I have a question. I have a question for you. And the question is the following. Are you ready? Are you ready? Then let's dive in. We begin by reading the instructions. And the instruction states the following. Answer all questions in the spaces provided. Show all necessary working. 17. A. Complete the following bill. Item, unit price, total, three tins of soup, one dollar and nine cents each, dollar loaf of bread, three dollars and nineteen cents each, four packs of cookies, two packs for three for two. 39 and total. Notice that this question is worth four marks. Before we deal with this question together, I'm going to give you an opportunity to attempt this question on your own. So I encourage you, please pause the video and I'll see you on the other side of the pause. All right. Now that you have attempted this question on your own, let us consider and deal with this question together. So the question wants us to complete this bill, all right? And notice that there are certain blank spots on this bill. So we have to determine what goes here. We have to determine what goes here, what goes here, and what goes here, okay? so. Let us start with the let us start with let us start with this empty space. Okay, what what goes there? All right, we have three tins of three tins of soup, and each one of those soup is for a dollar and nine cents. All right, so how can we determine what would be the total price? All right, we have three tins of soup, and each of them are for a dollar oh nine. There are two ways you could do this. Well, I should say there's more than one way to tackle this. One could add a dollar oh nine three times. The one could say one oh nine plus one oh nine plus one oh nine. Okay, because this would be for the first soup. This would be for the second soup, and this would be for the third soup. All right, and one could add it and get that answer. Or one could say instead of adding. One can multiply. So one could say, okay, a dollar oh nine multiplied by three. Okay. And this is the way that we are going to do it. We're going to use multiplication. So let us begin with the first column three times nine. Now, three times nine is indeed 27. And 27 is a two digit number. We take the 7 and we place it below the 3. And we take the 2 and we place it above the 0. Okay. Next, we consider th 3 times 0. All right. So we consider 3 times 0. Indeed, 3 times 0 is 0. But we're not done. We must not forget the 2. Right. So we're going to add the 2 two zero so zero plus two is equal zero plus two is indeed two okay so zero plus two is two all right so we take the two and we place it here okay so now we consider the next column and we say okay what is three times one right three times one is indeed three so this will be three here and do not forget the decimal point. Okay. 
So therefore, therefore the answer to this multiplication problem is 327. Thus, three tins of three tins of three tins of soup at a dollar oh nine each equals three dollars three dollars and twenty seven cents. Okay, so let us move over to the next um, empty space, and it says, okay, if uh, if and it says, and it wants us to fill in this particular empty space. Okay, so let us do that. Note that we have one loaf of bread, and each loaf of bread is for three nineteen each. But we only got one. We only got one. So therefore, our total would be three dollars and nineteen cents. Okay, now notice we have four packs of cookies. Four packs of cookies, right? And the price of the cookies is, the price of the cookies are two packs for 239, okay? But we got four packs, right? So let us consider this. So let's erase. So notice that, notice that we have one pack of cookie here, right? We have another pack of cookie, right? According to the question, if we get these two packs of cookies, right, this will be for two dollars and two dollars and two dollars and thirty nine cents. Okay, so we got these. If we get these two packs of cookies, it'll be for two dollars and thirty nine cents. But we did not only get two packs; we got Four packs. So this is the third one that we got, and this is the fourth one that we got. And notice that that is two packs of cookies again. So we must what? We must consider this to be two dollars and thirty nine cents as well. So now the question is saying, okay, you got four packs of cookies. What is the total price? One way we could do this is we could add two thirty nine with two thirty nine. Okay. We can add the two numbers, 239 and 239. Another way we could do this is we can multiply. So we can say 239 multiplied by 2.39, sorry, not 239, 2.39 or $2.39. $2.39 multiplied by two. This is a way that, can, that it can be done. You could either add $2.39 plus $2.39, or you can multiply $2.39, $2.39 by 2. Okay, we are going to multiply. So let us let us do that. Okay, so we have, we're going to start with the first column, 2 times 9. Indeed, 2 times 9 is 18. 18 is a two-digit number. We take the 8 and we place it below the 2. And we take the 1 and we place it above the 3. And now we consider the next column. We say 2 times 3. What is 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is indeed 6. Don't forget to add the 1. So we have 6 plus 1. 6 plus 1 is indeed 7. So we place 7 here. Next, we consider the next column, which is, which, is, and in the next column we have two. So two times two is indeed four. Okay, two times two is four, and we place four here. Do not forget the decimal point. Therefore, two thirty nine times two, sorry, two dollars and thirty nine cents times two is equal to four dollars and seventy eight. Cents, okay, four dollars and seventy-eight cents. Okay, so let us write that there in the total. So, four packs of cookies, two packs for two thirty-nine. The answer for that, or the total for that, would indeed be four dollars, four dollars and seventy-eight cents.
four dollars and seventy eight cents. Now for the last empty space that we're going to be considering. This is the grand total. OK, this is the grand total. So we're almost done. We have to add these three um, numbers. OK, so let us do that. We're going to add them to find the grand total. So let us erase. OK, so we have three dollars and twenty seven cents. Three dollars and twenty seven cents plus three dollars and nineteen cents plus four dollars and seventy eight cents. OK, and we're adding these three numbers. So we first begin by considering the numbers that are in the ones column. OK, so let's consider those and we say we say, notice that the numbers in the ones column, notice that the numbers in the ones column are seven, nine, and no, that's not the ones column. My apologies. This is actually, this is actually the hundredths column. Okay. So we're going to begin by dealing with the numbers that are in the hundredths, hundredths column. Okay. So let us consider the, those numbers. We're going to add them. So we say seven, let's use a different color. So we say, we say seven plus nine. And what is seven plus nine? Seven plus nine is indeed 16. Okay, so, but we're not done yet. We have to consider eight. So we add 16 plus eight. 16 plus eight is indeed 24. Okay, 24 is a two digit number. So we take four and place it here and we take the two and we place it above, above the two that was originally there. Okay, so now we consider the next column and the numbers on the next column are two, two, one, and seven. So let's add those numbers. Okay, so let's add them. So we first add two plus two, two, let's use a different color. So we first add two plus two, two plus two equals indeed four. We're not done because we have to consider one. So two, so we already did two plus two is four. Now we're going to consider this one here. Four plus one is indeed five. Okay. And we're not done because we have to consider the seven here. So we say five plus seven. What is five plus seven? Five plus seven, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Five plus seven is 12. 12 is a two digit number. We place the two here and we place the one on top of the three. Okay. So we have in the, in the our last column, we have the numbers one, three, three, and four. Okay. One, three, three, and four. So let's add those numbers. And this is our last column. Let's add these numbers. So we have one, sorry, we have one, one plus three, one plus three equals four. We're not done. We got to consider this three. So we say four plus three, that equals seven. Okay, but we're not done because we have to consider this four. So we say seven plus four, that equals 11. So we place 11 here. Do not forget the decimal point. So therefore, the total, the total or the grand total is eleven dollars and twenty four cents the grand total is eleven dollars and twenty four cents